often it's very easy to look at the, the healing ministry of Jesus and say, yes, we want to be part of this. We want to help to bring healing in the world. We want to help to heal people who might have leprosy, help to, to heal people who are in, uh, to provide food maybe for those who are, in, um, who are hungry, um, those in poverty and so on the whole welfare element of the church. But Jesus doesn't just provide healing. He's not just there for people during those hard times. He is there during those hard times, and Jesus definitely wants to heal. We have this man with leprosy reaching out to Jesus, which would sort of make Jesus a little unclean under the, the rules. He reaches out, and Jesus says, of course I want to cure you. But then Jesus doesn't just stay with the fact that this man had a medical condition. He wants to bring healing in his spiritual life. And he wants this encounter of love which brought healing to him physically to help him to come to a better relationship with God and with the community. And so Jesus says, go up to the temple. Go and show yourself to the priest enter into that relationship again with the community of God and start to pray. Make the offering prescribed by Moses. I think this is a great model for all of us. This is the challenge of any charitable activity we do as Christians. Are we just providing a handout or are we also bringing Jesus Christ to this person and helping to bring this person closer to God? Help them to be connected with the community, help them to be connected in Christ, to Christ in prayer. I think this is the great challenge for all of us. Jesus doesn't just stay with the welfare. He says you need to be part of a community, a worshipping community. You need to be on a right path with God. When we help others, it's not just about providing a handout. It's bringing Christ. And we see this in the works of of many of the charitable activities of the church. It's not just the handout. It's helping people to reconnect with God and with their community. Let us pray that in all of our actions, we won't just stay with providing that handout. We'll take up that opportunity to open the door to provide that invitation of faith to a community, to that relationship with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ.